More people are using buy now, pay later options at checkout. And this service allows you to pay in installments instead of all at once. However, a new report shows more than half of the users of this program say that they run into problems. Vanessa is breaking down what you should look out for before you go shopping, so you're not left asking, where's the money in this circumstance? Yeah, Colin, you know, these plans really help folks stretch their budget, but no credit offering is perfect. You alluded to this, but a new bank rate survey shows roughly 56% of users say they experienced issues with buy now, pay later services. You can see some of the problems they reported experiencing. Many pointed to overspending. You could see some reported missing payments, while others say they had trouble returning items and then getting that refund. You can see flat out 17% just regretted the purchase. So if you do use one of these options, here are a few things that experts would like you to keep in mind. First, be sure to set up a budget. Be aware of upcoming expenses before committing to a new debt. Also, try not to buy on impulse. Buy now, pay later can quickly turn into bought then, regret later if you're buying something that you want but you don't really need. And of course, we'll allude back to the prior slide where we showed just how many folks regretted a purchase. The third, just know what you're agreeing to. You want to read the service terms before you apply and agree. Some services could charge late fees. And then finally, keep track of the number of payment plans that you start. Of course, right, very tempting, Colin, but as always, with money and programs and things that you have to sign, you really just have to be informed and know your budget as well. Especially in the moment, especially for people like me who are impulse buyers, right? Got to remember. It's always hard. I, I get it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Vanessa.